All right, before we get into this, I just want to give you a massive thank you for the love and the support on this list series. We are now pushing on after last episode's chaos, and hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Previously, as you may or may not know, we had to work on this. We had so much chaos going on because why? I was a spoon. Because everything that we have built here, we had a smaller version here, and I decided halfway through this building, well, this, this whole section being built, I decided to remove this, which meant we was running out of items, specifically the construction parts and the electronics and then somebody mentioned after that video that bits why not use unity to build the machines and that's because if you put down a building and i go down here i can do quick deliver and this basically speeds up the delivery process of things being built which i never knew about so hopefully today's video goes a lot better and a lot smoother than last time because one lesson learned and then two even more lesson learned. And remember, as always, if you're enjoying these videos, like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. So where do we want to start today? Well, right now it says activate vehicles, fuel saver, edict in your captain's office. We could we could start working towards that. We could start researching power generation two, which is recommending me to start working on coal power plant and build a high pressure turbine, attach a turbine generator to it and connect steam, which is not a bad shout to be honest because at the minute we have three diesel generators right here consuming some fuel which i would rather that fuel be spent on the vehicles and if we look at our graph here we can see how much fuel we're making when and how much and then we can also see the red line which is what our vehicle consumption is and then if we go towards our towards power production we have this also and then in total is literally that so we do need to look into maybe increasing more power well not power sorry uh yeah increasing um, more power uh, but we also need more uh, fuel so we're going to head into our research and we want to start looking into i think we got some advanced diesel here which and then power generation so i'm going to go with the power generation first start getting that working on i'm going to get the burner because the burner accepts waste and turns well remove removes that and puts it into makes it makes pollution and then i want to start looking into advanced diesel biofuel and the cargo depot what's this oh pipes mark two as well so that gives us pipe marks two and a smoke stack large so we might as well just get these going and i might as well let's just get all of these let's get them going uh terrain leveling housing tier two and tree planting okay so we have quite a backlog of research to do and that can get done hopefully by the end of this video but one thing we know we need to look into is concrete we need to look into concrete blocks uh and because i would rather get that going i think than rather than using these bricks uh for the purpose of some materials over here right the construction parts they can actually require concrete slabs and the concrete slab mixer uh needs sand it needs cement and slag crushed. We have quite a bit of slag because... Oh, I did not finish this off. Have I got slag being... Okay, yeah, we've got slag being sent out of here. Where is it going? I'm guessing a truck's coming here to pick it up. I should really put it into a storage container because now I've got a little problem because I can't get this slag out of here because I've got this right here. So I'm going to have to now go through this and delete most of this i've just realized the splitters don't actually go when you drag it down the belt so let's get them delete and that bit as well and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this i'm going to have to raise this up by a level take this across here take it straight into there when these get picked up actually i can just take it into this one then i can just manually collect these up to here which then should allow me to connect the slag up so now we can grab the slag we can take this all the way along here that can connect to there and then i'm gonna get a loose storage right there like so and then connect a uv a uv uh another shape to that so now the slags coming out of there slags coming out of there going into this storage and then we'll set this one to be emptied every so often i'm now going to disable the, the boost on this and i want to see if removing the boost on that is going to help with what we was having problems with last time because we was losing mechanical parts uh, and i'm curious to see if we are still without this boost if not 
we might have to double this maintenance depot. But we do have maintenance depot two currently about to be researched. So let's look into this. So a concrete mixer needs cement. So how do we get cement? Uh, cement, okay, is there. And that needs limestone and coal. Okay, so limestone. And we get limestone from, if I'm not mistaken, over here. This is limestone, right? Limestone. Yeah, this is limestone here. So we need to get a excavator starting going through these mountains here. And we're going to need one down here as well to start grabbing the sand. I guess we could just make a little, I guess, quarry here um, when need be. So let's get a mine control tower. We'll get one down and then I'll get another one down over here, I guess. Then we'll edit this mining area just to be like here. And then we'll edit this one to be kind of like there. And then I'm going to build a ramp going into here. And then we'll just flatten it like so and just kind of make a whole area where we can get some sand out of. And we've got a ramp to go in and out. Just hopefully this little bit doesn't give way and this building comes crashing down because <laughs> that could happen. And then with this one, we're just going to cut away a, a chunk out of this. We're going to cut away at that and cut into this mountain like so. Hopefully the water doesn't come rushing in so we can get some limestone. So we need a rotary kiln that's going to make cement and that's going to need nine. And then we have a crusher. Crusher needs slag, but how much um, concrete does the cement mixer need? It needs 1.5, but it also needs water. It needs three sand and nine crushed uh, slag, uh, slag per minute. So I'm going to put down a kiln. I'm going to put down another kiln. Actually, we should go into planning mode here. Let me delete them. Let's go into planning mode, then put some kiln down. Oh, I didn't hold shift, uh, like so. Then obviously we're gonna need the belts, which were gonna be the U-shaped canals. So I'm gonna bring, can that not connect there? Why can that not connect there? That's weird. Maybe because the storage is gonna be put down. So if we do that and that, this one will obviously be assigned to limestone. Then this one can be assigned to coal, like so. And then we're gonna bring, a, we're gonna bring this up, take it along to go into there. And then without have that there we go okay so it was just because it was you know showing an output to an output it was there was no input going in there i think that's what the issue was and then we can get the coal to come down here like so and connect directly up to that so that is the coal going in that is the limestone going in we also then need a smoke stack on these forgetting to press shift again then we have concrete being made well cement i should say i'm going to get this cement to then go into a buffer and then we're going to connect that up with a belt and then we're going to need a crusher, which I'm going to put here with a storage container to the side of it, which is going to be for slag. And this one actually needs to come up and go up there. So that needs to be raised. And obviously then I want the cement to come out of here, which will then come down a belt this direction, which means I then need to put a loose storage here, oh, loose storage here, like so. And then we're going to grab a belt here going directly into the uh, buffer for that so we because what this is making 24 slag crushed this is a storage um this is going to be making three cements so we're going to be making six cements we don't need to worry about the exhaust and then what was the other one it was water right oh we need sand so our concrete mixing can take 1.5 with nine slag we're making 24 slag which means we can put two concrete mixes down to make 24 bricks per minute well concrete slabs per minute so let's have a look at this. So we have inputs on the back. We have the water on the side and the output on that side. So what we could do is I could put down U to go, uh, let's just say here. And then we're going to go into storage. We're going to put a fluid tank down. We can put U down there maybe. And then we can grab another cement mixer. No, that's a bad idea. Let, let me remove this buffer. It doesn't really need to be there. I'll just get another cement mixer to go here. And then we need this concrete needs to go into each of these, like so. Then we also need this to go into each of these, like that. And then you, oh, come on, you can go into there, right? We can do it like that. No harm, no foul. And then we need to get water, which either I get from a pump over here, or I could bring, I could just bring one of these out from this buffer, I guess, because these cement needs six, which needs 12 water in total. And then these farms need 36. So that's going to be 48 water in total. This produces 48 water in total. So that's near enough bang on. 
So we could grab this from here. It does mean this water is probably going to get consumed, but we need to keep an eye on that. So we're going to take this pipe all the way around here, like so. And it's just going to weave around and wrap around these machines. Where it's then going to come over to here and then into that machine. And then from there to down here and then into that machine. So it's already got a buffer. That buffer will probably not really get used because we're going to be using 48 water all the time. So then that should be fine. This should mean we're fine and dandy with this storage now. Well, this storage, this concrete. And then we can just bring this in here like so. Um, and I guess we can just bring in conveyor belts. Now, the question is, is do I want to go with one storage or do we want to go with two? I guess we could just go with the one. I don't like that because I know we can do it the other way. So we delete that. Bring that down here. Bada bing, bada bosh. We have now got a cement system, I believe. So the vehicles have got access to this. The vehicles have got access to these. We do want to make sure this is kind of set to full. This one set to full. Uh, this one needs to be sand. And we want to make sure this is half full at all times. Yeah, and I think we might be good there. So I think we can actually get this being built. So let's do that. And then we should be good. Uh, actually, what I need to really do is in this location is I'm just going to delete the pipe here like so because we need to make sure the vehicles can get over. I said the vehicles, but mainly the excavators. So I'm just going to get this pipe, take it under and then connect it up. So this excavator then can move around here. I, may, I might have to do it over here as well. Maybe we'll do another one here. So let's get that out of there, like so. Then we're going to want another ramp. We can then get a pipe to go under, like so. Uh, obviously, I do need to get these to be built. This to be built, and that to be built. This pipe to be built. And uh, yeah, we should be good. I keep pausing it. I don't know why. I should really leave it running. But this should now set us up for concrete, I think. Now it's just a matter of waiting it and watching it get built. All right, there we go. We have now got the cement little factory up and running. Well, it's not up and running because we need to bring in the sand and limestone. Uh, but we can see the trucks are bringing in the coal currently. Uh, and it looks like everything should be fine and dandy. I do need to kind of set this up to be uh, cement, um, which is done. That's been set. That's been set. These are all done. We need to get the recipe in for you, which is going to be this one. And same for you. Um, and I think it's fine. You are... Oh, you need to be set to... Um, slug... Uh, slug crushed. Slag crushed. So slag's already been put in here. So we want to make sure this stays full as much. I'm going to raise this up as well. 144, 144, 144. That's going to fill up when it needs to. Um... And then in here, we need to make sure this is set to concrete slabs. And then, of course, we're going to need two small excavators. And f uh, do we need four pickups? I guess we can go with four pickups. Now, we're just going to wait for them to get built. So I can assign them to the locations for the limestone and also the sand. So we have another problem. We need more power. So what we're going to do is we are just going to quickly add another diesel generator uh, for now. Uh, like so and then I'm just going to grab a pipe and connect that directly to there and then obviously hit the play button on that I can turn building planning mode off now to be fair uh, get that up and running get that additional uh, is it 800 yeah 800 kilowatts uh, given us a total of three uh, well 3.2 megawatts we have 73 percent left in our oil so I want to keep a close eye on this um, I definitely want to be notified when it starts getting low because then we're going to have to start importing uh, the oil. Because as we know, we do... Uh, because as you know, we have unlocked the oil rig out at sea, which does need a ship to come and do it. 
And that's why if we go into the research thing, we do have a cargo depot here, which does have fluid modules, cargo depot, loose modules, and unit modules, and a cargo ship technology, which should allow us to import via, well, from the oil rig. But if we actually look in the power section now, we can see that we have a power generator, we have a flywheel, and we have a high pressure turbine. And we also have water extracts. We've got a boiler and a boiler needs 48 water and 30 coal per minute. So it needs one water extractor to go straight to this. 30 coal per minute is quite a lot, which is going to give us 48 steam. And then 48 steam can go into a high pressure turbine, which will give us six megawatts of mechanical power. And then we can turn that into a power generator which goes into two power generators and then a flywheel on the end of that to store it so if i was to go with 48 steam we need to look into adding new people in as well so let's add a new housing slot uh we should be okay for food we're on 59 months of food left um we are keeping kind of steady with it okay let's assign uh excavator to you we just got to wait for this one to get built, which it just has done. And then and I can, I can assign you over here to this one. Small excavator has no compatible truck. Yeah, we know this. The trucks are currently being made and the items get delivered. Let's just quick deliver that because the trucks are extremely busy right now with work. And this is why we needed that additional uh, housing because we need more workers coming because this fuel generator, well, diesel generator, He's not being powered because nobody's working there. Right, so my vehicles are now done, so I should be able to assign two to you, and I should be able to assign two to you, and that should allow us to get going, because right now it's just going to be dirt that they're going to be pulling up. And I believe this one started in the middle of the, the trees here. And then we're going to name this one uh, Mr. Donovan. So, Donovan, thank you for becoming a YouTube member, and you are now officially the Limestone Excavator which I kind of need to assign you to be limestone. And then also we're going to call this one Mr. Prodster. Is it AR? I think it's AR. No, it's ER. Prodster is ER. Okay. And then we need to make sure you're assigned to sand. And you are going to be my sand excavator. So thank you so much for being YouTube members. And if you want to become a YouTube member, support me as a creator. All you need to do is just hit that join button. There's a little uh, membership. You just get a little cool little few little perks like that. Uh, it's nothing special. So don't feel like you are obliged to or anything. It's only there if you if you can do. It is very much appreciated. But how's our copper doing? Our copper is doing pretty good, right? We have copper over here. Nice. Noise. Um, we are still needing extra workers. Did we get this built? We do. Maybe we should turn the signal back on. So let's unpause that and continue with that the current research is too advanced for our lab hold on a minute wait what what is no they're not what do you mean we have research labs here or has that been up there for a while they just to be, to be honest that might have been up there for a while one thing i'm noticing is we are not making iron is that because you're full okay we need to make sure that you are being emptied because if you're not being emptied we're gonna back this up of course right so we need to make sure that it's emptying from here the primary needs to be that sand wait is that sand wait sand should not be oh no hold on hold on a minute what have i done what have i done oh bits 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 that needs to be slag oh, how do i clear this belt request trucks to remove products from this trailer this trans yes okay we need to remove the sand from that where do i need the sand to go hold on a minute wait sand needs to go Oh, what a... Oh, my God. What an absolute spoon. Okay, I'm going to have to put storage down here. And there's me doing that nice little montage for you early and everything. And some of these are going, bits, you don't have sand. Bits, you don't have a sand location. Bits, you don't have a sand location. It wouldn't surprise me if someone, at least one person, has commented already stating that. But now, we're just going to do that. We're just going to add you as sand. We're going to add you as sand. And now we should be good because we've removed the items from the belt, which is a good, nice little feature I like. And I, I didn't even notice that until now. So that's pretty cool. And then we want to make sure that these keep full. So let's keep that to 144. Keep that to 144 and allow it to do its job. 
And we can already see bricks are starting to stack up here because sand has been manually getting added to the concrete mixer. So obviously we're running slow on the slag and that is because, well, the limestone, sorry. That is because he needs to get to the kind of the core source of it right now, right? And he is he's in the vicinity, so uh, hopefully he starts picking it up soon, which it does look like he is. Yeah, there's some 11 in there. Perfect. Okay, so he's starting to remove it. And these are already down here grabbing the sand. What happened to this ramp? I thought you guys were building a ramp down here. What is this? You didn't even make a ramp. Oh, it's because it's not in the mining area. That'd be why. It's because it's not in the mining area, Bitsy. Let me just do that. Right, hopefully they now make a ramp up there. I don't know how far this sand is going to go down as well, because it could only be like a top layer and then it's just going to be gravel and dirt. So science, I guess. But the trucks do have to travel far from going from to the cement to over here. But this concrete should fill up at some point and these storage should fill up. We should really look into... When is the next storage? Oh, it's right there. Literally, right? I may as well add that. Storage marks too. So loose storage gets doubled. Fluid storage and unit storage. How's our current water over here as well? Okay, so the, the reserve stays has got, it's got 99%. It's been raining quite a lot. So we don't have that much demand, to be fair. I think things will be different if these uh, rain reservoirs here, these rain harvest uh, water collectors, uh, was not here because we'll be more demanding over this which the groundwater will then get removed um we have got extra workers now at least so i'm think i'm just going to quickly pause this for now because i don't want the food for the demand for food to be quickly deplenished okay so in regards to power we are going to need a boiler so let's get a boiler i'm just going to place one of these down i'm literally just going to place it here it's only going to be a small one like so this is going to produce steam so we need to make sure i need to actually need to go into build mode and get this planned out here let me just demolish that so we need a boiler which then goes into a steam vent which is waste management we want a smoke stack to go here and then this is producing how much 48 steam uh which then goes into uh power and goes into a high pressure turbine and that's uh needs 24 and this is providing 48 so we can go into two high pressure turbines uh so we can i guess i don't know the distance of the if we go with a fly oh they're pretty pretty large they are pretty large so if we let's just say if we just go for you and you like so and then we go for a power generator which we could do you and you and then a high pressure turbine which can go to you to you and then we grab this Oh, I was going to try and squeeze it into the... I'm going to put a boiler down here. We're then going to need to get a pipe because one, you need to go to there. And we need to bring you around here into there. This then needs a smokestack. And I can just remove this. I don't need this here anymore like that. So that's that dealt with. And then we need water and coal to come into here. So we're going to put down a loose storage like so. And then I'm going to do a fluid storage here as well like so. Connect these up like that. Connect you up like that. Make sure you're set to coal. Make sure you're set to obviously water. Make sure that you are as full as possible. To be honest, you're always going to be full because you're a power source. So I want you to be a priority, to be honest. So let's kind of make sure this priority is high. It is power, so maybe I should just bring it to one. And the water is going to come into here anyway. So I am going to need a uh, groundwater pump. Uh, and we can just, I guess, just connect this up to here get myself a pipe take you up by two take you along take you under i was going to dip you under dip you back up where then i can then take you over this way and then just drop you into the like so but i do need to before we build this do what i did to did before so i'm just going to make sure there's a ramp involved here i'm going to do it here as well so let's just do that do another one here which means i can get you down and then also one here like so and then just take you up, connect you in, take you down, connect you up. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. And then that should give us... How much power is this going to produce us, actually? I need to actually, actually check that. Oh, it's going to be two megawatts per each power generator. Okay, so we're going to be having a, sitting on a nice eight megawatts right now, plus the diesel generators, which I could eliminate. But I suppose I should really have them as a backup. So let's hit that play button. Let's get these built like so. Yeah, we should be good. And then hopefully we'll see what this is going to be like in a minute, especially after our coal production right now. I need to keep an eye on coal to be fair. Our coal is currently set at 811 stored, but that's stored in current production lines as well. So I guess we'll just wait for this to get built and see what it's like in a minute.
Right, so I've had to interrupt this time lapse because one, we don't have the building materials, and two, um, it is because the build the the construction parts Mark II are currently being assembled, and I've noticed a little bit of a problem. When this got fully built, we actually had the trucks deliver the coal, and I was wondering where that coal instantly come from because about seven trucks pulled up to fill it, and that's when I found out. The coal over here at the iron was actually allowing exporting to be on, which meant because that had a high priority of coal to be stored in here, they removed the coal from this system, moved it over to this one as a priority. So now at the iron setup, I've had to disable this because I want to make sure that these stay in here. So whenever there's a factory, the coal stays in the storage. And I've had to do the same for the fuel setup because this was set to on as well. And then also with this one over here, I've had to set that one. I think I didn't do this one. No, nope, I did. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit of a problem. So now what I need to look at is we need to make sure that we're actually making, well, harvesting more coal than we need. Because right now, I don't think we're keeping up with the upkeep. Well, the demand for it. So we're going to get another small excavator. I'm going to get another two pickups. And with the machine parts over here, I'm actually going to boost this by 0 0.25 to give us some better yield and uh hopefully it will help speed up the production here as well because it's nearly done it's just that these turbines here actually require 50 construction parts per each one and then these require i can't remember how much was it 50 as well these require 20 and 20 electronic parts and then the flywheel requests 40 and then the boilers still not even done as well so this is going to take some time and plus we've not even got the water over here yet as well because that's not been built so a slight little problem i didn't actually put a smokestack here for the actual low powered steam or the low pressured steam so i need to make sure we bring that into there and then that into there because these was producing it just wasn't outputting the steam here because high pressure turbine needs a transport to output steam so we're going to hit play on these get them built and then make sure this is obviously set uh, to steam low as well and then we should be fine and then it looks like everything is up and running we just need the water now to be honest which is slowly heading this way and it is going into the storage yeah this pipe's blue now it was gray, uh, gray a minute ago we're just waiting for it to come along here but we can now clearly see we have got some additional power and uh yeah we've now sitting on 11.2 megawatts which is pretty pretty good i could i guess i could now like pause these generators here uh, we're good we are gonna leave them here but right uh actually i could just do that right can i not just do that i could do it that way yeah uh so yeah we can get these paws now because they're not really needed and we are making 8.8 .8 megawatts which is pretty pretty good more power than we actually need but allows us for future expansion my only concern now though is is the current coal situation so we can see coal is empty coal is empty and by the time these trucks come over here because i've i've had to add an additional truck to um, deliver and export coal from this location to distribute it around here. They was prioritizing the bricks over here and then also the copper and the iron, by the time, you know, these were getting filled, this was still starving. And this is the core of our base right here because we do have a, you know, copper currently be uh, stored in here. So we have a backlog of that and a backlog of bricks, but this is our main key of uh, items and i need to get some uh iron plates stored in here right now because i'm currently waiting on a new excavator to be built so i can add it to the coal to help us with production of it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete this little bit of belt here just like that so we can get the iron plates to go storing in there so then the vehicles can export it so i can get that additional extractor okay yeah so coal is a very very big problem right now because obviously i've set this to a, a p1 um, and i've told it to keep full they're just keep making sure this is fully focused on being full right now and they are not sharing the coal with any other systems so i definitely have a coal shortage right now which we need to need to fix but now i've reduced this down here uh it is allowing this one over here to go and deliver the coal over here so we can get some iron plates um being made so i can literally just get them additional 20 plates to make the extra excavator which will help the production of this and we'll add another three vehicles on top of this how much did i add over here 
Uh, I'm going to add another one on top of that. I might need to look into three excavators, but it does mean we are going to go through these coals super quick. And then the next location is here, which is a little bit further away. So either we look into just a mass coal production uh, and just start getting all of this going, many, many trucks going, uh, and all that good stuff, or we need to look into an alternate um, fuel source for the buildings. Because right now it's like we're in the coal age and we need to start looking into getting into diesel and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully that is where the new advanced diesel and uh, the biofuel come into play. All right, so we have our next excavator, which obviously we need to assign this to the coal system. So we are going to do boom, you get into there and then we're going to bring in some uh, assign some new trucks here as well. I want to assign the three there now, to be honest, uh, because the others I don't believe are going to be doing much. Um, so we're going to sign more trucks over here and get this other excavator into this location as well. And he's deciding, oh, we need to assign him to coal. He's starting to dig up over here. So we've now got that underway. And I, I think this is going to be a main project for, I think, for the next video. So right now we have got the cement up. We've got some additional power um, and we need to fix our coal issue. And that can wait till next time. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just emoji. And uh, as always, have a fantastic rest of your week or weekend, and keep smiling.